So living in the city isn't always what it's cracked up to be. Sometimes you just need to suck in that country air. Mmm, manure. And while this might look like humble beginnings, don't worry, we're here to build a vegetable empire. But first we're gonna need a crop. And the only one we've got available right now is lettuce. I mean, we've got to start somewhere, right? We've even got our first little farmhand who's helping to grow and collect it. And now that we've grown some lettuce, we've got our first truck who's collecting it. He's transporting 15 lettuce back to our big storage area. And then that'll go in our collection truck and earn us $60. Okay, we've uh, definitely got some work to do. So to speed things along a little bit, we can start to upgrade our farm as well. I'm gonna try and get it to level five here pretty quickly. Cause even though we're growing this lettuce a lot faster now, we can only sell it for $4 each. Maybe if we increase the workers, I think that doubles the output we can get. Oh yeah, it's growing so much faster now. The next one's $10,000 though. I don't think we're gonna be getting that for a while. Cause right now we're sitting at 660 money. And even with our delivery truck going again, that's only another $360. Actually, letting it build up enough, our truck does get $600 per delivery. So we're slowly getting there. But now that we've hit $2,000, we can get our next crop, arugula. Well, actually in Australia, we call this rocket. Crazy American names for vegetables. This stuff sells for $7 per. That's pretty close to double the amount of the lettuce. So of course we're gonna upgrade that as well and increase the workers up. Now our little truck will not only collect the lettuce, but also the arugula too. And by the time the sale truck comes back, we're getting $945 per delivery. Okay, well these basic crops are okay, but they're really not gonna cut it if we're gonna make this vegetable empire. So this is where our tech tree comes in. Every time we fill one of these bars up here, we get an extra point to spend. So for our first one, we're gonna unlock more crops, beans and peas. Now I've left this little gap in the middle here because I just wanna build a road back here. I think that might be useful access for us in the future. Wait, why are we growing green bees on teepees? Also, you're not working, my friend. What am I paying you to do? Yeah, that's right, you get back in there. I might add another worker just to keep you responsible. And the same over in our peapod side. We want at least two workers in every one of these farmyards. Now it looks like the peapods sell for $5 each. That's not super good. But the green beans are $11 each. Oh, this is gonna be our money maker. We're getting 1,700 deliveries now with the four different veggies we're growing. But we still have a lot of land left to fill and a lot of profit to be made as well. So next thing to unlock is gonna be cabbage. It looks like we get red cabbage and regular green cabbage. And it's also gonna let us do some shredding somehow. Oh yeah, over in our other tech tree, we can get the buildings upgrade, which lets us make a cuttery. And I think that's how we can chop up the vegetables and make more profit. Wow, there is a lot of buildings that we can make. $5,000 for a cuttery seems okay. We've already met over $20,000. I think these cutteries are most effective if they're touching the crop. You can see these yellow arrows they've got pointing straight from the crop. So if we build one of these here right next to our green bean farm, and let me just extend the road here. This is why it's good to have access back here. Once this guy's built, we can pick which recipe we wanna choose. So let's pick the green beans one. We can convert it from an $11 green bean to a $33 chopped green bean. Wow. It looks like it takes two green beans to make one chopped green bean, but we're still up in value for sure. And we can also bump up the workers here and the level of the building too. That gives us more XP, which gives us more tech points even faster. So normally if these weren't connected to the fields, we would have to spend more money to get these little delivery trucks. But why spend the money if you don't have to? So I'll build another one behind our pea pods and the same with the arugula and the lettuce. I think we want a cuttery for every single field that we have have. Oh, wait a minute. We can do the shredded lettuce. That works fine. But there's actually not a recipe for the arugula or the pea pods. So I guess we can't process them again just yet. But the cabbage we can do. Meanwhile, our little truck is going okay. He's very slow though. And he can only fill himself up with 150 veg. So back in our tech tree, we can actually get truck leveling so we can upgrade our trucks to be even faster. So let's take him from level one all the way up to level five, which is max. And now his cargo is 450 and he goes 28 miles per hour, which actually seems like it's so much faster. All right, let's just check in and see how much our sale truck is worth now. 4,740. Wow, you go little truck. You're doing such a good job. I could actually upgrade him as well. So he's gonna go faster and carry double capacity even by level three. Okay, now we're shredding both of our cabbage farms, but we're still not progressing as fast as I would like. So 
Back to the tech tree. Here we can increase the max level of our fields. That means we can take them all the way up to level 10 instead of just five. I'll have to make sure I'm maxing everything out as we go. And also the workers too. It's gonna be time soon that we increase every field to three workers. I wish I could increase their carrying capacity and speed like the trucks. <laughs> I actually forgot to check how much money we make from the shredded cabbage. $36 each, okay. It's the same for both, but that is really good. With our next general point, we're gonna increase the experience that we gain. That should mean that we get tech points even faster. And over in the field tech tree, we can choose carrots. Oh man, tell me these carrots are worth a fortune. Oh, we also got celery as well. Okay, well, I'll put one of each of those guys in and maybe we'll just make a little access road for these guys. Do the same thing that we're doing over on this side. I'm not sure if that's a smart idea, but... <laughs> That's what we're going to do to start with. Okay, so our carrots are worth $20 each and the celery is $21. And after we process the carrots, that's going to take it to $60 and the celery is $65. Okay, at what point do I need to convert all of my fields into celery and carrots? Because I'm tempted. All right, we've unlocked a new building and I think this might be one of our first keys to making an absolute fortune. Instead of just selling vegetables on their own, we're going to start throwing them in a plastic packet and selling them for like triple the price. Like this coleslaw mix, which we can sell for $280. Imagine if we put the word organic on there, it would be like triple that price. There's also mixed vegetables, which sells for 120, but we don't have corn or pea pods at the moment. We must have to unlock those. Now to get this package of working well, of course, we're gonna need more workers and a max level, but this is where we're gonna need one of these input trucks. We need this guy because our packager isn't connected to any of the fields, so it can't get them directly. But this little input truck is gonna drive around to collect all of the resources directly. He's just cruising around with $2,700 worth of carrot in his back. But actually, he's going really slow. I think we're gonna bump up his speed quite a lot. Okay, well, apparently max speed is 22 miles per hour for this guy, but he's gonna deliver all of the ingredients back to the packager. And there we go, we've made our first 15 bags of coleslaw. Right, we're having a bit of an issue here where our little blue truck is mostly collecting raw vegetables rather than our packet mix from over here, which would get us even more money. There is a way to fix that problem, but we're gonna have to advance our tech tree a little bit more. Basic logistics, that's exactly what we needed. Now this way, every field that has a cutter next to it, if we go into our new logistics tab, we can tell the little collection truck to not come here. That way we'll convert all of the cheap vegetables and only use the more expensive product. Everything that doesn't have a recipe at the cutter, we're just going to leave as it is for the moment. Not going to waste our time selling cheap vegetables, that's for sure. The more processing, the better. But now I'm realizing we should probably flip these things around. I think we want the cutteries to be closer to the farm rather than the fields. That's okay. Future me problem. Okay, more tech points. Now we're talking a business center. This guy is huge. <laughs> I'm hoping that that means it makes us a huge profit as well. Uh, I'm gonna build this right on the edge of our land because I think this is more of like a trade hub. So we don't need it to be in the way of all of these fields. Oh, wow, look at this thing. Oh, I just realized you can move the camera around. We can kind of spy in these buildings a little bit. Okay, so at the business center, there's contracts that we can take. So basically we have our pick of two different contracts, which will give us certain rewards depending on which one we choose. It looks like both of these are the same reward. And there's a choice of selling 1,200 carrots or 1,800 red cabbages. Since the cabbages are worth a lot less, I think we're just gonna take that one, even though it's more to collect. So now we've got these special purple trucks, which are the business trucks, and they'll just take what they need from the fields and deliver them back to the business center. Then they've even got their special business delivery trucks, which will take them all off the map. Okay, very good. That's all working nicely, but I think we're really needing more crops already, like basic root vegetables. And while we're here, let's increase the max level of all fields as well. Now, okay, for this one, we are gonna do it in the reverse order. We'll put the cutteries on the road side here, and then we'll build our onion field and our garlic field behind. Hopefully that helps make things a little bit easier. So for this cuttery, we can choose chopped onion, and this one will obviously be chopped garlic. And everything we can raise to level 20 now, which is kind of ridiculous. That also means that we have a new recipe at our packager. Actually, two recipes. Um, Maya. Poi 
How do you say that word? $300 each. That's kind of crazy. But we have the aromatic veggies, which sells for $380 each. It does need a lot of ingredients, but we've got everything. So I guess we may as well use it, right? Looks like our contract is just over half done at the moment. So that's coming along nicely. But we've got a couple of tech points we've been sleeping on. Okay, a bit more XP gain for us. And we'll increase our building levels even further. Oh, actually, we can increase our processing speed as well. An extra 10%. Oh, man, look at all of this production. Production. Now we've even got chopped onions, which sell for $70. And the chopped garlic is $72. All right, this is the last delivery for our contract. It actually gave us a business point we can spend in a business tech tree. Increases the maximum number of contracts you can accept at any one time. That means double the profits. Come to me. All right, well, we'll take the carrots one after all. And it looks like we have to wait a certain amount of time before new contracts come in. Luckily, we're super close at the moment. Oh, here's one for our aromatic vegetables. Vegetables. This one's also going to give us a big bonus to our building XP. So I think we want that one. It's going to help us unlock even more valuable things faster. But root vegetables, absolutely. Okay, root vegetables. What do we got here? Potatoes and radishes, it looks like. Okay, so our potatoes normally sell for $30. After we dice them, $90. Radishes normally $16, $48 after we slice them. Man, potatoes are the new MVP. I mean, if there's one vegetable I would make an empire out of, it's definitely a potato. I really don't think I could live my life without potato-based foods. The goat veggie. Now, our main bottleneck at the moment is we've only got one collection truck and he's pretty slow, to be honest. He's still only level five, which is max at the moment. So if we go into our business tree, we can improve that. We can increase the truck levels. And the next one we really need is additional farm trucks. That's where we need to get to to really scale up this operation. But now at least we can increase our trucks up to level 10, as long as they get the money. <laughs> but the good thing is our delivery trucks are doing 31,000 every delivery now. One extra worker for every field is probably gonna be a big help as well. And so will even more building levels. That means all of our cutteries can now go to level 15. And if we spend $20,000 in every field, we can get a fourth worker. <laughs> it's probably worth it on our potatoes though. Okay, I think we might have actually just discovered a very crucial building. This giant monstrosity, which is a compost area, which I'm thinking might be pretty good here actually. Oh my gosh, look at all of that poop in there. But we're missing one of the crucial ingredients, which is organic waste. So at the moment we're making shredded carrots which sell for $60, but we've just unlocked baby carrots. They sell for only $20, but what they do make is organic waste. So I think we're gonna try that instead. And luckily it's just across the road from the compost. So that should help a lot. We are gonna need a waste truck though. We'll buy just one of those because the next one's 75 grand. Now, as soon as we make our first batch, the little waste truck will come and collect it. Is that the waste? It wasn't a lot. Even after our second delivery, we only have 50. And the max capacity is 40,000. Maybe we're gonna have to upgrade this guy. Although it's getting really expensive. Okay, we'll let that just keep going on its own and it'll make some compost for us eventually. The other thing we unlocked is we finally got a recipe for these peas. So now we can shell peas. That also makes a little bit of organic waste too. And I can finally stop the collection trucks from collecting them. It's finally time. Additional farm trucks. Just a casual 75 grand and we can buy a second little blue truck to go around and do all of our biddings. Might even bump his level up a bit too. We need way more speed out of these little blue trucks. All right, that out of the way, we can get even more vegetables now. I'm kind of liking the look of the basic herbs because we get thyme and parsley, which are worth $42 each without processing. So we might just put a little divider in here and there's our parsley and thyme with a road to connect them all. All right, for the next phase of our vegetable empire, we're gonna need this very important talent called rank up. So basically that lets us pick any field that's got enough experience and that has maxed out level and workers and rank it up to the next level using the compost that we've been making. It does want us to rotate crops though. Like if we pick celery from this field that's already making celery, it'd be 80% less efficient. But what I'm thinking is maybe we can make this into a carrot farm and then we can change the cuttery from celery over to another version of baby carrots. Then we're getting double the waste here. So yeah, now this field is a rank B. The only problem is it resets our levels and makes them much more expensive to upgrade again. Luckily, we've got $750,000, so... <laughs> 
Getting to level 20 is actually not a problem. Now this field can hold 1600 carats and it's making them every 0.7 seconds. Whereas the previous version that's maxed out can hold 670 and is making them every 1.7 seconds. So you can see how much faster the upgraded version is. We're still not making waste very quickly though, but I think corn might be the solution. Let's just try this out with one corn field first of all. Look how giant this corn is. Can barely even see the worker down in there. All right, well, let's max this out first of all. Oh, run out of money. But what you can see here is not only are we growing corn cobs, which sell for $32 each, but we're also just making organic waste just from growing the corn. And we're actually making a massive amount of it. That truck just collected 650 already. So in that case, these baby carrots aren't actually that good. <laughs> I think we just need cornfields instead. So I'll change this one back to shredded carrots, which we actually did need to keep making the aromatic veggies over here. I totally forgot about that. But we can also process corn in our cuttery, which will convert 120 of those into corn kernels, which are worth 100 gold each. And we get even more organic waste. This is like a organic waste powerhouse over here. But I think the plan might be to put in a few basic fields. That way they're cheaper to upgrade, but all we need to do is wait for them to fill up their experience bar first. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Additional farm trucks. 750k for one truck. All right, I'm gonna have to save up for that, but I think it's actually worth it. It's becoming more of a logistics problem at the moment, this little farm of ours. But while we're waiting for that, let's try a salad kitchen. All right, we'll plonk this guy over here. I guess we're making like a little industrial area over in this section. Now it looks like in this thing, we need lettuce, arugula, shard, and spinach. The last two we don't actually have yet, but all of those things will give us mixed greens, which we can sell for 120 20 each, but it looks like we might get six of them at a time. So $720 per. All right. Well, first order of business, I guess we buy a little truck and he can start collecting the ingredients. Oh, but it looks like we're going to need this salad greens unlock if we're actually going to get those things. Okay. That's something that we'll work towards in the future. The more lines of profit we have, the better. We've actually been upgrading our contracts as well. So we can take three at a time now, which is kind of nutty. And you know what? Actually, I have a better idea. Let's delete this salad kitchen from here because something we haven't really been working with are these storage buildings. We've just unlocked a large storage, which is this giant thing. If we connect it to our leafy green vegetables, I'm going to put it here for a second, but that will make sense eventually. You can see that it even connects on a diagonal. So it's getting these two farms. Oh, perfect timing. We've just got another tech tree point. So we can actually unlock those salad greens we needed. So that was our shard and also our spinach. Now I think you can see that it makes sense. All four of these fields now connect to our large storage. And what happens is they automatically get transferred into our storage. You can see they're going into the building straight away. So now the trucks only need to collect them from the front and they can get all four of these fields from behind here. But the even better thing though, is that we can build a salad kit Oh no, it just doesn't fit though. Okay, you know what? We're gonna have to do this. It's gonna ruin all of our pretty buildings, but this is necessary. So the even better part is we can build this salad kitchen, connect it just over here. And of course we'll rebuild this road with a kink in it now. And all of those ingredients we needed for the salad kitchen should automatically get transferred over. Oh, except these should be lettuce and arugula. So why don't we level these up to level two and we'll convert them over. And there we go. Now we've got all four ingredients in our salad salad kitchen. So now we can pump out the mixed greens like crazy. The cool part is it even transfers those mixed greens back into the large storage area as well. I think this setup is super cool. Apart from this big kinked area, but just pretend you didn't see it. Whoa, we just reached our first million dollars. I mean, it's not that hard when you're flogging six bags of green for $720. But man, our little empire is really coming along. But there is just so much more we can do in these tech trees. Like soup and pickles? Let me know if you guys want to see more of Must Grow Farm. It's only a demo at the moment, but man, there's already quite a few hours of gameplay in it. Love you. Mwah. Okay, bye.